border between Tanzania and Kenya and come and sit in this hall and say you are a pan-Africanist. A pan-Africanist means the first task is to get rid of colonial borders so that we bring Africa together in practical terms. I don't know if President William Ruto means it because he said so many things and I can't locate him these days because the things he said during election and the things he's doing now are two different things. I don't know. Because I heard him saying we need to do away with the dollar and build our own currency but his actions are not speaking to anything of doing away with the dollar. The latest being putting a red carpet for a murderer, a person who killed the Kenyan people coming into this country, receiving a red carpet and being saluted by our own army. This is not a Kenyan army, it's not a colonialist army. The Kenyan army is a product of the Mau Mau rebellion and those who killed our people in the Mau Mau rebellion cannot be saluted by the same army of the children of those who were killed during Mau Mau rebellion. We have a duty to stay true to the cause. We have a duty to remind the king and Britain of what they did to us. Indeed, he shows no remorse. He says this was bad. It shouldn't have happened. But he runs short off. I apologize. I am sorry. He will never say he is sorry. For because he thinks that his race makes him superior. And he's not qualified to apologize to those who are junior to him. We call upon the, the Kenyan government to be firm. And to decide what they want to be. Do they want to be pan-Africanist? Or do they want to be proponents of neocolonialism? You can't have it both. Only one call must be made. And that call is all pan-Africanism. It's not easy being a pan-Africanist. For because the mindset of our people is so colonized. They are going to isolate you. They are going to look at you as if you are a 